Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here and welcome back, if you're coming back, I'm starting another series called Painting with a Story or Story with a Paint. But it's short stories of moments and experiences from my life. So this isn't video podcast worthy. I mean, it could be, but it's not like that long. I could go into it much longer, but I won't. No, that looks bad. That looks weird. <laughs> There's no more of this paint. God damn it. Gosh darn it. All right, so this story is going to be about this uh, one person. Happens to be a girl. Um, and how she used to hate me. It's someone that I used to work with. And I'm going to be name dropping in this story. Not full name, just first name. Because me and this person were never friends never got to become friends and we probably never will become friends so and plus I doubt she'll see this so so a couple years ago I used to work at a recreation center and I got a job in the daycare portion of the recreational center in this job required me to work with one other individual this person was name is Cynthia and so it was a two-person job in the morning. It's only three hours long, you know, hang out with kids, do do the whole thing. And I had a lot of child childcare experience. So I was like, you know what, might as well. And plus it was close to where I, I lived at the time. Anyway, I used to go to this recreational center a lot. Uh, we had been members there for quite some time. And the day before I started my new job, I went into the gym to go work out the night before. And I met this girl, her name's Jennifer, and I've seen her before, and I've, like, the moment I saw her, I thought she was immediately, I mean, she's still an attractive looking person, but the story makes me fe see her as an ugly person. That's besides the point. When I first saw her, I thought she was so beautiful. She was a very attractive, beautiful lady, and <laughs> lady, <laughs> what the heck? She was an attractive, beautiful person. And uh, the night I went in, you know, she was working and so was this other guy that I knew it was working. And I was telling him how, you know, I'm going to start working here. He already knew me for quite some time. So, you know, teased me, whatever. And then the girl, Jennifer, was just kind of like, hey, oh, my gosh, so are you the one who got the job? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. You're going to be working with one of my closest friends. Her name's Cynthia. We are like family friends, basically. We've known each other for a really long time. I absolutely love her and I adore, adore her and you're going to love working with her. She's fantastic. I'm so excited for you. And I thought in my head while she was talking to me, wow, this person's really nice and she's making me feel very, you know, like uh, excited and motivated to start my new job, work with another friendly face, friendly person. And yeah, just overall I was very excited. She was so nice and friendly to me and I was so excited anyway the next day when I started my job I met Cynthia very lovely you know she's chill she's really nice really good with the kids and this job went from Monday through Friday every morning and so you know that went on I didn't see Jennifer very often her shifts were like in the evening and I didn't work in the evening so I didn't get to see her much one of the information that Cynthia first shared with me is how she knew uh, Jennifer and how Jennifer is actually dating one of her cousins. And so that's why they're also really close. And I was like, oh, that's really neat. It's really cool and happy for her. Awesome. She's like, yeah. Anyway, so days go by and then, you know, she brought up the whole, you know, oh, it sucks to work in the morning because there's never any hot guys at the gym. And... I thought to myself, oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, there is one guy I've noticed that is actually pretty hot. At least, you know, to me, I felt like he was conventionally attractive looking person. She's like, who? And the guy walks by. And I was like, that guy. And this guy looked like, like he isn't the same age as me, just like a couple years younger and tall and dark. And I said, this guy right here that's walking past. And then she looks at me with her jaw dropped and she was laughing because she's like, um, that's my cousin. That's Jennifer's boyfriend. And I was like, oh, that's funny. Haha. 
<laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so that's the guy. Okay, cool. A day comes by where I finally see like Jennifer working in the morning and I hadn't seen her in like a couple, like a week or so, a couple days. And she had a shift in the morning, so we saw her. And, you know, I was very excited because the last time I had talked to her, my first impression of her was really friendly, really outgoing, really nice. And so whenever I saw her, all of a sudden, she did not talk to me. She didn't even make any effort to recognize me or any effort to be friendly or interact with me. Nothing. She didn't want to say a word to me. If anything, she would, like, roll her eyes in my direction and I was baffled. I had absolutely no idea what just happened. That went on for actually a really long time. So I was so confused. I would try to make an effort to like kind of chat and say hi and be friendly with her, but she just, nope, totally would avoid me. She would chat all friendly like with everyone else but me. And I, just started, you know, it, it got to a point where it just really bummed me out because it's like, how, why would anybody want to go into work when someone very obviously hates them, you know? And it didn't feel good. And I was just so bummed because I was like, wow, she was so nice and friendly to me at first. Like, what happened? And days go by, and I've even talked to Cynthia about it later on. I was like, man, you know, Jennifer, she was really nice to me when I first met her. But all of a sudden, she's been ignoring me like hardcore. I, and I don't understand why. And then Cynthia would like look at me and she's like, oh, that's, yeah, that sucks. I really, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why she's doing that either. I'm like, yeah, you don't? Okay, well, that, that sucks. But yeah, I don't know, it just bums me out because she was so nice to me at first and I was looking forward to being friends and whatnot or at least getting along in general. Don't have to be friends. And she, you know, Cynthia was just being all comforting, being like, oh yeah, you know, that really sucks. I don't, I don't know what the cause is, but you know, whatever. And then years go by later on, Jennifer eventually leaves the job before we do. And, uh, you know, I thought that was kind of great for me because then I don't have to keep worrying about whenever we share shifts and she'd walk by very obviously ignoring me and rolling her eyes and giving off the most hostile vibes towards me. I didn't understand. And one day, me and Cynthia went to a, another coworker's baby shower and she invited a lot of other people, you know, who worked there as well. She invited Jennifer and her boyfriend. And I was not excited because, great, I'm going to be in a setting with Jennifer again. And this is going to be really awkward. So I was already extremely anxious before the party. Cynthia and I went there together. And then I saw Jennifer and then another coworker that we knew went as well. And the entire time, guess what? Jennifer didn't talk to me. And it was so awkward because we ended up all sitting in the same table. Like we were like two feet away from each other. And she still, like even then, would not even want to look at me, doesn't want to talk to me. And I was just thinking in my head, this is like one of the worst experiences of my life. Because like, first of all, I really don't care to be here. And sight of all, I am in such an uncomfortable situation with like, you know, someone's making me so uncomfortable because they very obviously don't like me. And they're putting so much effort into very much showing it, you know, and it, it just doesn't feel good. At the end of it, actually, I tried to be extra friendly. I tried to push out of my comfort zone and try to talk with her. And I tried to make a joke. Because her and her boyfriend were wearing a lot of denim clothes. And so I was trying to, like, get their attention. And, well, the boyfriend noticed. And he was like, oh, what's up? And I said, guess what is um, Mario and Luigi's favorite type of clothing? And, I mean, he seemed intrigued and answered what? And I said, denim, denim, denim. She rolled her eyes. She didn't talk to me. She pulled him away. And I was like, yeah. That was nice. <laughs> I tried. So that happened. Still, you know, didn't talk to me. Whatever. Rolled her eyes. Just hated me. Hated my guts. 
and I never understood why. And even with, you know, I'd constantly would tell, like, talk to Cynthia about it while we'd work together, be like, yeah, this really, it's just making me really uncomfortable, and I just don't understand what I did. And she'd constantly be like, yeah, I really don't know. I, I think I talked to her at one point about it, but she just didn't really say anything. I was like, dang, that really sucks. Well, you know, I just kind of really wish I knew why. You know, I really wish I knew the reasons so that way, I don't know, if I did something wrong, I couldn't at least apologize for it. She's like, yeah, I don't really know what it was. Years later, not years, but like a few years later, I was hanging out with a different coworker and him and I, you know, we were just catching up. He was telling me about his life. And then I started bringing up the whole Jennifer thing, you know? I was just kind of like, oh, yeah. Remember Jennifer? God, she hated my guts. And he was like, what, really? And I was like, yeah, she hated me. And she just constantly, constantly ignored me and avoided me and put so much effort into it. And he was like, oh, man, that really sucks. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, I never understood why. And then he was like... Wait, didn't, didn't you call her boyfriend hot one time? And then it all clicked. Because the only person I've ever told that to was Cynthia. Who, you know, then proceeded to be like, that's Jennifer's boyfriend. He's like, oh, cool. Okay. And then it hit me. It's like, oh. Here's what happened. I told Cynthia what I said. I was like, oh yeah, that guy's hot. She was like, that's my cousin, Jennifer's boyfriend. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, oh, wow. And then went and told Jennifer because, you know, they're family friends and they're really close and they've known each other for years. And Jennifer was pissed because I thought her boyfriend was hot. And I was so pissed that I didn't, like, that's... Cynthia never told me. And I was like, wow, what a very shitty friend thing to do. And we weren't even that close, Cynthia and I. But it was just so, like, like that could have been avoided. That could have been well avoided if somebody had just told me. It's like, oh, yeah, she hates you because I told her about how, you know, you thought her boyfriend was hot. And then I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't, I would have cared less if I had known the reason. And so when I found out, I was so mad that I definitely just completely stopped putting any effort to talking to Cynthia because, first of all, that was just a terrible thing to do. And not the whole telling Jennifer that I thought her boyfriend was hot. I don't care. It was the whole pretending that you didn't know, you know, and couldn't have just told me because I, w again, let me just clarify something. This man, yeah, conventionally attractive looking dude. Was I attracted to him? Absolutely not. Would I have wanted to date him? No, absolutely not. I got to know him a little bit. I'm not interested. Good looking person? Don't care. Shocking, right? And it helps that I'm... I resonate with demise demisexuality, so I could see somebody who's extremely, I could see a group of extremely conventionally looking individuals, and I would not care. But that's besides the point. I was just so upset that I was so bothered by this girl that hated my guts just for thinking her boyfriend's attractive. And I just thought to myself, you've got to, you're going to have to be like, you must have to be really insecure to hate another person you barely know for finding your partner an attractive person. I found her attractive. She's a very attractive human being as well. And I'm not into her. So I was extremely mad. <laughs> as you can imagine. But at the same time, I was kind of happy to find out the reason and feel like kind of relief, if that makes sense. That it wasn't something shitty that I've done, you know? That I didn't do something wrong to hurt somebody else. No, it was just somebody else was insecure and that was that, that basic uh, bottom line, that's all it was. And I'm glad.
lad. And right now I'm actually painting the boyfriend to show you guys what he looks like. So you can, you know, get a good feel for the person that I saw and see if you guys also find him attractive as well. Hold on. I'm almost done. If Jennifer or Cynthia ever happened to watch this video, hi. Um, I'm not into your boyfriend. Just to clear that up, I never was. I never planned on hitting on him. I never planned on taking him or anything or flirting. No, no. I was not at all planning that whatsoever because I didn't care. I just thought he was an attractive person and I thought you were too. <laughs> I think a lot of people are. That doesn't, just because someone finds somebody else attractive doesn't mean they're interested. Shocking, I know. All right, I've done it. I have painted the man's. This is, this is the boyfriend that I said was uh, an attractive person and then his girlfriend hated me for the rest of my life for it. Say hello. You guys like it? I worked very hard on him. It sounded weird. I worked very hard on this painting. All right, so for fun, I also went ahead and painted Jennifer as well. So that's, that's Jennifer. That's how she looks. And that's her and her boyfriend happily ever after. Thanks for listening in on my, my, my paint and story. My story and paint. I appreciate you being here. And I hope to see you in the next video. Tell me your thoughts. Give me your opinions on my story and my experience. Am I in the wrong? Am I in the right? I don't know. Who knows? But please remember to be kind. And please remember to take care of yourself today. Because you deserve it. You really, really do.